It's Redneck Adventures television show Where Jim, Bob, and Storm will show you where to go For some frog snatching, catfish grabbing, bow fishing Sometimes missing Wrestling hogs, running dogs, tree and coons underneath the moon So for fast and funny action, it's outdoors with the passion All you really need to know it's Redneck Adventures Television Show. I want to thank all you guys for being here. Uh, we kind of worked hard to get you guys here. And I want to introduce you to a few people. Danny Lede, right over here, he's uh, the treasurer, the foundation. He's the head of the man of raising the money to get you guys here. And Mr. Don DePue, that is... He's around. He's Somewhere here. around here. But he's the vice president. Uh, we got Roller Go Champagne, Beak, Mr. Dan. Today, a heck of a job to help. Uh, hey, hey. We got Jackson, the man. We got Corey, Dale. What's your name again? Dana. Dana, that's right, Dana. And we got Mr. Gary over there on the telephone. Which I think he's he probably that. talking to the girlfriend somewhere. <laughs> but, yeah, we're calling on you. You're on stage. Okay, good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. That's the Coca-Cola man. I'm trying to get the spots out of you all. Ah, that's a good comeback. All, right, all right, Mr. Gary is Paradise, Louisiana television show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does a lot of good things for the people, and he did a lot to help us bring you guys a lot of stuff and a lot of things, and just, he's the man. He is on about 90. No, a little over 70 million right now. Oh, okay. 70 We're in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. All right. I don't know what Puerto Rico is going to do for us. We're around a little over 144 times a month right. somewhere. If you don't, Bob stretches it a little yeah, bit. If, if you don't have our show on your TV, you probably don't have a TV or don't watch it. <laughs> so, uh, y'all look for us. You can go to our website, uh, redneckadventures.com. We'll have the show on there when we get through with all this as well. Check out some of our old movies and stuff that we do. Guys, this is all about y'all. We want y'all to enjoy the outdoors. Just like Gary was saying, it's it's about y'all. Y'all are our future. If y'all are out here and enjoying this and keeping it going, it, it's going to be a dying thing. So it's up to y'all to make it, to keep it going. So your kids and your grandkids can come out here and enjoy the same stuff that we're all going to enjoy. And y'all are going to enjoy tomorrow. Y'all are the, one of the probably the best guide service that I know of in this part of the country. I'm telling you, they, these guys know where the fish are at, and they are going to do it, everything they got for y'all. So y'all have a good time tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank you for doing the job that you do, and the job that y'all guys do to help these kids, take care of these kids, because y'all here, Dan chose you guys because y'all do a good job in what y'all doing. They're rewarding you guys for doing good what you guys do. And we appreciate that. We love it. We ready to go fishing. And we ready to have some fun. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Y'all remember the three words I told y'all? Yes. 
No, yeah, I don't remember. No. What is it? What is it? What is it? Take me fishing. Oh, I don't know. No, is it? No, I don't know. We're going to ask you that tomorrow. See, tonight it don't matter because we ain't going nowhere. Catch big fish? Mm -hmm. Catch big fish? Mm -hmm. What, tomorrow morning when I ask y'all yeah. three questions? Y'all better know it or we ain't going. <laughs> Y'all got y'all better know the three words. The three word magic words y'all need to find out tomorrow. Y'all better get together and just work it out. I know it. Nope, I ain't changing it. It's easy. It's written all over everybody. No, you sure? But y'all better know the Y'all try to find y'all guys as quick as y'all can. And y'all chaperone should be here to pick y'all up. And we're gonna get to the boat as quick as we can. We'll go do a little bit of fish and hope we're gonna come back with a whole bunch. Now look, there's a red fish trophy and there's a speckled trout trophy. So whoever wins that is gonna go on the Don DeBute show on the radio and be able to tell their little stories about their fishing trip. So, with some free magic words. Hey, 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 hey. Hey y'all, Stark here, Redneck Adventures. We got a good one for you this week. You saw the opening of the show and you was wondering what all that is. Well, we're at Ryan Lambert's Cajun Fishing Adventures Live here in Burris, Louisiana. We got Take a Kid Fishing Foundation, and I'm telling you what. We are going to have a blast. We've got the pleasure today of Mr. Don Dubuque on the boat with us. He films uh, a show, Wildlife Louisiana, and we've been on for, I don't know, like 70, 80, 90, 100 years or whatever. And uh, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be talking with Don some. We're going to be catching some fish with these kids. So y'all buckle down and, and hang in there. We're going to be right back. All right, D'Angelo, tell me how you caught it. How'd you do it? Man, I caught it was hard, man. It was hard, man. <laughs> it took me like about 10 minutes, man. <laughs> What'd they say, how much you weigh? About 27 pounds? Yes, sir. That is a fine. I think you might you might get a trophy. Yeah, I right. hope so. Them on, Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah let, let's check these muscles out. Let's check these muscles out. <laughs> oh, he ready. Hold him up high. Now tell me, what was it like while, while you were fighting him? What did it feel like? Man. Felt like I was weak, but I couldn't let him take me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can drop him now. Good job, buddy. All right, good job. Yeah. All right, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Johnny Pope, foundation president. Take a kid fishing. What does it mean to you, Johnny, when you just seen that boy just catch that big old fish? Man, that, that makes the whole joy of the whole trip. <laughs> this kid, with arms a bit back, I think a smile wrapped around his head. He's hollering and screaming. Yeah, there you go. And that's the there best look on somebody's face or a kid's face you ever can see. Yeah. see your face, but It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And I hope we get some more. Hey, look, we are. This is this is a new foundation. We're going to be coming up with a, a website and all the stuff that people want to get involved for next year. Yeah, go to. Uh, this this week we come out here. We got 24 kids. Uh, all the kids come from New Orleans. Uh, all real group of kids from the outdoor outreach program in the What's state. You uh, oh, you okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. me about you. You know, it, it's just a real good foundation. It takes money to do this thing. Uh, you're the one We raise money. Me, Don DePew, and Danny. We all raise the money to get these kids out here and have a good time and show them something new. And, uh, we want to do that every year. So anybody that can come up and help us and be a part of the foundation, we sure appreciate it. And, and it takes money to make it happen. And basically, that's what we did. And a lot of good people behind us. All right, David, well, let's go catch some more fish. Let's go do it. <laughs> What did she say? She said, I'm the only one that don't have one on this boat. She's the assistant. Yeah. Oh, he got a catfish. Has everybody on y'all's boat caught a fish? No. <laughs> 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 Mm. 
I'm looking around for the cork and I felt it tugging. Got one on over here in Ryan's boat. To get him. Well, the boys got him, I think. Yeah, little boy got one too. One of them got him. Got a fish or not? Hey, got him a trout. <laughs> <laughs> Another happy fisherman. Yeah. And it had to go back. Yeah, but she caught. That one was under age. fast up they, they done got in a frenzy now. Oh hung up. <laughs> Put that camera on. <laughs> that your biggest one today? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get them to catch them on this side of the boat so I can see them. Bring it on this side of the boat. Oh, he's going after the net with this one. Look at there. There you go. There's your nice one. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Back to Take me fishing, baby. Hi. <laughs> just get them in the boat. Don't matter about stop points. We just learned. <laughs> How come you keep doing that to us, Gerald? What's up with that? You don't know. Gerald, help. Supposed to hook him in the other end. He ate backwards. <laughs> But Don, I was picking with you a while ago, saying you've been on for 80 or 90, 100 years, but... I haven't? How long has it been? Radio and TV, what, 30? Radio's been 22 years. TV has been uh, about 19. Yeah. But you got a good program, and uh, y'all do a great job with it. Y'all do the fishing reports with the guides and the outfitters, and you, you really keep people informed about what's going on down here. If a man don't know what's, where they're biting, all he's got to do is listen to your station. And if you want to tell the viewers the name of that station, you're more than welcome. Well, on radio, it's WWL, WWWL, 870 AM. A lot of W's in there. Yeah, it's a lot. No, that boy caught that big one was in Johnny and his book. Oh, yeah. This kid's with, I don't know who he's with. Over there. I'm trying to get there. Oh, he lost it. Did he lose it? Come over here. <laughs> Let me see that fish. Look at there. <laughs> yeah, like you ain't real sure about holding that fish. Good job, good job. Is that one of them freaky brothers? <laughs> that is a nice flounder. Who caught that? Caught that one. They got two or three of them in there. She got over 27 inch red. 
Man. Nice <laughs> Richard's done this before, have not he? Look at him. Yeah. Whoa, got another nice red in there. That's, Richard caught that one too. Richard's oh my goodness. He, he had to sit down. He didn't caught so many fish. He had to take a break. Richard, they didn't wore you out. <laughs> Here we were worried about the wind. I know it. Beautiful. Like as you ever see it. Meow, meow, meow. Fishing. Eeky, eeky, eeky. That's a horn trout there. <laughs> a horn trout. It's a tourist trout. A uh, croaker. That's seven different kinds of fish we don't <laughs> Seven different kinds of fish. Look at him, this is, this is a good, continuous footage. He's got the net out. It's only half a fish. It's only a half a fish. The other half's gone. Show him the other side. See there, look at that. A mini halibut. That's all, yeah. What well, we call tender vittles. Really? They got a bite over there. We're going to win that trophy. I'm telling you. Look at Take me fishing. You see, it? you see it? Take me fishing for Take me fishing. You see it? You see it? Who caught that? I caught that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, get, let's do our open here. Caught a lot of them. Y'all stay right there. Yeah, there's more it's where that came from, too. There's <laughs> <laughs> more. Right, now y'all remember when you were kids and you were coming off your summer vacation, the first assignment your teacher always gave you was what? Write a story about how I spent my summer vacation. What do you think these guys are going to write about? Woohoo! Ah, yeah! <laughs> Look at that, that man. Come on now. Dang! <laughs> Interview beginners, too. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, it's natural. Fish. It's natural. Fish. It's natural. Okay, hold him right there for me. It's hold natural. Hold him there for me. Show me what you got. Another red. You got that crack on there. That's what you got to. And what they're calling crack is shrimp. <laughs> you, got, you got somebody who knows how to fish in this boat. <laughs> He's going to be the next guy. That's two fine yeah, fish right on. there. Fishing Adventure, the host for this for this week, uh, two day event. We thank you so much, man. This means so much to these kids. You can see that their eyes light up. Hey, one, one young man talking about, I want shark. I want shark all day. I said, dude, you don't want this shark. Don't you know I want the black tip shark? He's on his hands and knees. <laughs> and that's kind of rare where we're at, isn't it? We don't have a lot, but we see him every day, but we don't ever try to catch him. Yeah. Look, when he got to the boat, uh -uh, I don't want no part of that shark. <laughs> I got it, I pulled him in, I got a little piece of skin off. 
There you go. Oh man, it, I know it's a lot for you to burden on this, but I'm gonna tell you what it makes up for. Hey, just keep going. First time they ever did this. Yeah. 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 Smiles on their faces make up for it all. You can probably hear them screaming in the background. They're still playing in the swimming pool before they go home. Again, thanks so much. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be back with some more good stuff. Johnny Pope, Take Me Fishing Foundation. We had a great time, man. Man, it was great. I'd love to have y'all here. It just, all the kids are wonderful. We caught some big fish. We had a good time. It was, well, it was beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I think the biggest fish was caught with 27 pounds, about 32 inch red fish. But the end, man, my boat. We got it. You know, so hopefully we're going to get that big red fish trophy. And it's, it's, I just can't say enough about it, man. Everybody turned up and, and made this thing happen. And we want to do it again next year. And we're going to do it. What we'll do is we'll put a link to this. To, uh, when y'all get your uh, site and all done, we'll have a link at rednextadventures.com. Y'all can check it out if you want to help out next year. There'll be contact information on there that you can take care of all this. Again, we thank you so much. Thank my man, Beak, who's running the camera for me. And uh, until next week. Y'all have a red, red neck day. day. <laughs> I wanted to see that. <laughs>